happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah today we got dr steve turley um i always like to check out his perspective and his takes on things because i feel like he always calls it how it is um today we got dr steve turley on the liberal media panicking and also admitting that trump is unbeatable um i feel like this is going to be a really good one um so buckle in guys we're gonna hop straight into it make sure you guys hit that like button before we even get into it hit that like button um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Let's get into it, y'all. Well, Dana, we're seeing what is basically a one-man race for the Republican presidential nomination. Take a look here. Our brand new numbers in this poll conducted by SSRS among Republican and Republican-leaning voters. You have Donald Trump at 52 percent majority support. Ron DeSantis is next in line here, way back at 18 percent. Everyone else is in single digits. This is a one-man race. And look at where we had it in June. And you see the movement here. Donald Trump is getting stronger as a frontrunner. He is up five percentage points compared to where he was in June. And look at Ron DeSantis. He is slipping. He's down eight percentage points from where he was in June. You see little margin of error movement except for Ramaswamy, who is also up five points uh, since June, but is still in mid single digits here. So right now you're seeing a Donald Trump dominated race and Donald Trump's getting stronger. The left wing activists yeah. disguised as journalists over at CNN are being forced to admit that after four indictments and the mugshot seen around the world, Trump is only getting stronger. In fact, we have one pundit now calling Trump, quote, unbeatable. His political dominance is rising like literally never before. And the legacy media is beginning to hopelessly freak out. You're going to love this gag. Hey, it's me, Dr. Steve, your patriot professor here to help you think better so you can feel better in these crazy and turbulent times. Let's start with bumbling Biden himself, because I think this is in part why the legacy media is freaking out here. Biden is basically collapsing. The latest Wall Street Journal poll was utterly devastating for Biden. I mean, devastating. 75% of voters, three and four, thinks he's too old and needs to bow out. 75%, 69% of Democrats agree. Seven in 10 Democrats think Biden is too old. And 60% of all voters believe Biden is not mentally fit for this job. Gang, that's beyond repair. This is a presidency that's in tatters. When a supermajority of voters thinks you're too old and too senile to be president, your days are done. I mean, you're not getting reelected apart from shenanigans. Here's Peter Ducey of Fox News doing what he does best, harassing the White House's chief diversity hire. Why do you think it is that in a Wall Street Journal poll, two thirds of Democrats think President Biden is too old to run again? Look, here's what I know. Here's what I can speak to. I can speak to that a president who has wisdom. I can speak to a president who has experience. I can speak to a president who has done uh, historic, has taken historic action and has delivered in historic pieces of legislation. <laughs> yeah. In other words, Peter, Peter, how dare you quote a poll that's utterly devastating beyond belief for bumbling Biden? How dare you? The fact the fact that she was ready for an answer. Did you notice that with that <laughs> sad excuse for an answer just shows you how panicked the White House is. They simply don't know what to do when two thirds of Democrats want someone else other than Sleepy Joe. Remember, this is why they're so freaked out about Robert Kennedy Jr. RFK has the highest favorability rating among all the candidates, nearly 50%, which is huge. Biden, of course, is tanking in the 30s, well behind Trump. Kennedy has risen to upwards of 20% in a number of the polls. And we have polling that shows that about a third of Democrats don't even really know that much about Bobby Kennedy. And of that third, two thirds want to see someone else other than Biden, as you can see in the polls. So this is why the Biden camp is freaking out over Bobby Kennedy Jr. They know he is definitely formidable when a third of your party hasn't formed an opinion of him yet. And two thirds of them wants someone else other than Biden. So make no mistake, the establishment is freaking out here. They're freaking out in the White House. They're freaking out at CNN. They're freaking out over at MSNBC. I mean, we saw it yesterday in our first video yesterday when we analyzed the panic on the part of ABC's George Stephanopoulos and Donna Brazil that this Wall Street Journal poll was utterly devastating for Biden and 
for the hope that the indictments and the mugshot would finally take Trump out. It's just not happening. And more and more pundits and advisors are openly admitting it. Ed Rollins, the veteran Republican strategist and DeSantis supporter, he's actually the head of the Ready for Ron pack. He has now just come out and admitted Trump is absolutely unbeatable. There's simply no way around it. I mean, Trump's domination in this primary is so beyond anything we've ever seen historically that there's just simply no way anyone, including DeSantis, is going to come anywhere near beating him. If you look at the RCP aggregate polling around this time, back in 2015, the last time we had a major GOP primary, at the beginning of September of that year, Trump had a pretty impressive 12-point advantage over the pack. Back in September of 2011, for that primary, Romney had a plus 1.8 advantage. And if we go back to 2007, Rudy Giuliani was actually leading the pack with a plus 10 advantage. So there you go. In the last three major GOP primaries, around this time in early September, the leader was either plus 12, plus 2, or plus 10. You ready for this? Right now as we speak, according to the latest Wall Street Journal poll, Trump is beating DeSantis 59 to 13. Wow. He's leading the pack by nearly 50 points. This, this isn't a primary. This is a slaughter. This is, why, this is why President Trump isn't even remotely bothering himself with these stupid, ridiculous, waste of time, donor class GOP debates. There's no point. Instead, he's getting in front of 200 million people with Tucker and talking about substantive issues and not donor class approved talking points from loser D-list Fox News lineups. And yet you still have these donor class Republicans at National Review. I mean, I'm thinking particularly of Andrew McCarthy. They're all doing everything they possibly can to try to get rid of Trump. They're going so far as to actually defending the integrity of these indictments. I mean, it's beyond absurd. I'm thinking, too, of the editor in chief at the Washington Examiner, who the other day was begging the other candidates to drop out and rally behind a single alternative to Trump, presumably Ron DeSantis, because if they don't, we're going to be stuck with Trump again. Oh, no. I mean, these guys are literally living in their own echo chambers. It's so bizarre because when all is said and done, when it comes to Trump, there isn't a dime's worth of difference between these donor class Republicans and Nancy Pelosi. That's how insane they've gotten. It was, of course, foreshadowed by the absurdity spewed out by Bill Kristol, who, who went full Keith Olbermann back in 2016. Uh, Kristol went ha absolutely insane with TDS, Trump derangement syndrome. But alas, the more honest pundits and pollsters are indeed finally admitting Trump is utterly unbeatable. This is now officially Trump's party. And now it's time for all of us to take back our country. Yo, there we have it, guys. Dr. Steve Turley, always breaking it down so well, uh, laid it all out there for us. And, you know, the clips are showing the panic. You can see the panic setting in. Like, we've, they've never seen this much of a lead before. Uh, as we've seen the Wall Street Journal polling uh, Donald Trump ahead, what, almost 50%, almost 50 points? That's freaking insane. Um, and, you know, as comparing it to other elections, and you start to see how it compares and ranks up. We've never seen a gap this big before. He's got the, you know, the it's been sealed. And this is after four indictments and a mugshot. You cannot forget that. This is just insane. Yo, I'm excited to see who will be the next person or, or if, you know, we will have anyone who will be able to step up, you know, and actually be a real challenge or a factor um, when running against um, Donald Trump. It sounds like RFK Jr. Uh, may, may be the next step for the Democrats if, you know, they could get Joe to, you know, give it up and throw in a towel because it, it sounds like the whole country doesn't want Joe. So anything but Joe on that side. But we'll see what happens in the future, guys. We're going to keep following this very closely. Make sure you guys hit that like button um, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Uh, we're on the road to the truth, guys. Hop aboard for the journey. i catch you guys on the next one. We.